Hello and welcome back audience to episode 17 of my FIFA 15 Liverpool career mode and welcome back guys and hopefully we can get an absolute awesome episode today just like episode 16 when we did go out and we did win 5-3 and I've been looking at all your comments and you're all finally saying Brad I think you've found your form, I think you've found your formation, you've got the right players Obviously, I'll show you just quickly. That is the formation I played the last time. I played Sturridge and Sterling as left and right striker. I played Balotelli in the middle as the main striker. I've got my main man, Coutinho, who's scoring the Brazilian wonder kid. I've got Gerard and CDM. Lallana on the right of Gerard with Coutinho on the left. We've got Alberto Moreno left back. Zuma left centre back. Sacco right centre back. Manquillo right back. And obviously, Mignolet in goal. Now before we get into today's episode, we are against Stoke and we are at home so hopefully we can pick up a win and as you can see in the bottom right in the tables, we're sitting currently in ninth position, we've played 12 with 16 points, Stoke are 3 points ahead of us and played exactly the same games, so if we can possibly pick up a win at home against Stoke, we'll be right up there in 7th or 6th or 7th position depending on how the other teams do. Now lately I've been asking everyone what players I should go in for in the January transfer. Now the reason I'm asking this is because we're only a couple, we're one month after this game we're going to be going into December. And then we have one month to decide who we're going to bring in. And as you can see here in the global transfer network, I'm currently looking at three, or I'm getting three players investigated by this Declan. Now the three strikers are Jackson Martinez. I also thought about bringing Luis Suarez back to Liverpool. And also Karim Benzema. Now, lots of people are giving me ideas. And what I'm going to do is, when we get to the 1st of January, I will be posting a video on that day. And in the description, I need you all to do it for me, in the description is going to be a link called a straw poll. Now, a straw poll is where you set up a voting system. It's free. You just click it. And it takes you to this web page. And it'll tell you the question. And then it'll give you like a multiple choice of like four or five answers. So the question is going to be, what strikers do you, or what striker do you think I should sign in the January transfer? And then there's going to be A, B, C, D, and E with all different names. A might be Jackson Martinez, B Suarez, Benzema, Rodrigo, loads of different players. And all you have to do is you have to click it, click done, and then it it goes into a voting poll. And then it, maybe I'll give it 24, 48 hours. I'll go into it, have a look at the results. Whoever's got the most votes, I will then buy. Now, I've had loads of people messaging me, you know, look at Welbeck, look at Rodrigo, look at bringing Origi back off loan, look at Benzema, and the main one is Jackson Martinez at the moment. Now, I think Jackson Martinez is probably going to get the highest vote. I looked into Suarez because when Suarez was at Liverpool, he was one of the best players. He's, he's world class. He's one of the best players ever. The fact Barcelona bought him makes him world class, and he was absolutely amazing at Liverpool. But we do need to look, even though we've got Balotelli and Sturridge and Sterling up there, and pretty much everyone's doing well, especially after last game, we just need Balotelli to start scoring, which I'm hopeful that he will this game. We do need an extra striker. And we could do with a defender with experience. So as well as me doing a straw poll for attackers, strikers, I'll be doing one for defenders. And I'm going to look for someone more with experience. At the moment, I think Liverpool's defence is very, they're very young, the Spanish... The two left back and right back, they're both Spanish and they're both under 21. I want to look to put a bit of experience in there. So, for example, like Jerome Boateng from Bayern Munich or Subotic, like maybe Bad Stuber, Marcelo, Ramos, someone like that. I know Marcelo plays left back, but someone to just give the defenders a bit of experience in there. I know we've got Sacco and Skirtle who are getting pretty... You know, they're at, at their peak now, but I just want someone else just to give us that extra bit of help in defence. But, I'm not going to bore you any more, guys. What I am going to quickly do, lots of you keep asking, is for a squad report now and again. So just before we get into today's match, I'm going to just quickly scroll through the squad report. I'm not going to speak through it, I'm just going to look at the player and just move down every two seconds or something, just so you can have a look how everyone's doing. So let's go ahead and get on with that.
Right, and there you go. So that is the squad report completed there. And to be honest, I was quite happy there. The only one I noticed that's going down is Ricky Lambert, and he's bound to go down because of his age. So maybe in January we will look at offloading him. Although he's a brilliant player, and he has had a, a brilliant form in his past couple of years, he's, he's more of just a reserve player now. He's just there just in case someone gets injured. But even if our striker Balotelli or Sturridge got injured, he's not going to be the next striker involved. It's going to be Brini. Really, we could look at offloading him. But anyway, that, that's enough talking now. We're going to go ahead and get on with today's game. And hopefully we can pick up a win. So let's just uh, wait and see. And also, as you can see there in the top right, just for a click play match, it's only a matter of time before Martinez. Now, I've already looked into that. And that is basically saying that the big teams, Chelsea, Man United, Arsenal, they're all looking to go after him. So we could be paying big money in January. We'll just have to wait and see. But let's get on with today's match and hopefully... You will enjoy it. If you do enjoy this video at any point, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. And make sure you share the videos with your friends and family. Let's get on with today's game. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Barclays Premier League. Today it's Liverpool against Stoke City. We're heading for Anfield right now. It's a pretty dull, overcast day, but perfect conditions for the game. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hello once again, I'm Martin Tyler and this is Anfield. How will Liverpool do today? Well, the way things are going, he might be clearing his desk, Martin, because uh, the players have not been responding to him at all. There seems a little bit of a standoff between the squad and the manager, and uh, it doesn't bode well for his future here. That's for a lovely ball into storage there, the straight off. Today. And as you probably heard then, the uh, commentators were talking about the manager maybe packing up his desk and getting gone. Now, I'm hoping they're not talking about me there, because as you all seen in the last episode, we have finally, we've got the advantage here. Come on, lads, we need to move. Come on, Adam go on, steal and run. Ah, oh, just a bit too hard. The board have now emailed me and said that I'm the best man for the job, so I'm pretty sure that I will not be leaving Anfield now until the end of the season, anyway. Come on, Gerald, close him down. Lovely Felipe touch by Lallana, plays it all, keeps this it safe. This is a guy who really is on top of his game at the moment, and... Uh, no wonder he started, he's probably the first name on the team sheet. Yeah, I would imagine so. As the opposition, I'm sure, would have Lovely spoken a lot about him. Coutinho, who does a lovely flick up to Sturridge. What, a, what an amazing ball. Excellent on, positioning, and the interception is made. Bardsley. Yeah, look. Keep on it, though. Just keep Phil him under Bardsley. pressure, lads. That's all we got to do, we just keep him under pressure. Mampir and Juf. Nice. Played it into the wide area there, played it well. Come He's on, into the Coutinho, battle. Lovely. I'll tell you straight through to Sturridge still, just threw on goal. Now, just because I need to win, I'm going to sweat it. I've got to, lads, I'm sorry. I know you're all going to scream and you're all going to go mad. But I need to. I really want to give this career mode a proper good run out now. So I have to sweat it to Sterling who just taps in the net. It has to be done. I might start shooting from outside the box and stuff now, but my main concern as a manager, and as you can hear the fans chanting, they're not bothered, it was a sweaty goal, a goal is a goal, and I need to make sure I'm scoring, so there you go, 14 minutes in, 1-0 up, thanks to Sterling, he's going to be an absolute beast, and to be honest, I really need to keep hold of Sterling, and I think we might struggle, Balotelli, plays a lovely ball, Lallana puts it through to Sterling, He's through on goal. He does a little dig to Balotelli. Can he get it in? Oh, look at that. He spoons it right across goal. Lallana tries to chase it down, but now the ball goes out. Sharply done. Come on, Sterling. Use your pace. Chase back. That's, it. That's what I love about Sterling. He's so quick Stephen with his feet. And it's back to him again. Come on. Let's keep him under pressure. Arnautovic. Stephen Sidwell. Lovely tackle right there by Sack. Oh, that was a bit of a nasty one. The liner up to Stalen. Stalen turns, drops his head and runs. Come on, Stalen. 
home team. Oh, I'll run into him there. Keeper kicks it out. Come on, Coutinho, head it down. Would need to improve upon to, to get that better. Liverpool. We know they're looking good, feeling good. They had that away win recently in oh, their last game actually quick there, against Crystal Palace. Well, the strikers are. Absolutely Ball comes in Mignolet. And they were in that 5 3 victory. I hope Mignolet is going to stay on form as well. He's been today. pretty awesome lately. Thank you. Oh, gives it away. That's very well read. Lovely header out. That's a very good interception. Into Balotelli. Way to Sterling to make the run. Plays a lovely ball into Sterling. Sterling just can't keep hold of it. Short Still course. battling for it though. Come on. Come on, Jared. On your head. Comes to Balotelli, Balotelli, Balotelli flick into Sturridge with the first time. Stealing, bang! Get in there! Have I actually found form? Do we really need strikers when we have Raheem Stealing? We have the Daniel Sturridge and we have Super Mario. Look at this, Mario, lovely left foot, dinks it into Sturridge, who smashes it at the keeper. Keeper can't handle it, comes out to Stealing. And Stealing taps it in again with right foot. 2 0 up. That was a nasty tackle right there from Sidwell. And it's I'm hoping here. he did get a card or he at least got a telling off. He should get something though. Stephen now what we need to do is while they're down, their heads are dropped. We need to capitalise on this. We need to keep our heads up. We need to know that we can win this game. We need to keep them under pressure. I played Sacco. I think it was offside anyway, is that right? Yeah, it was offside. Sacco had a cover, so I'm happy there. Zuma kicks it out to Sacco. Sacco turns it back. He's into Coutinho. Coutinho into Balotelli. Balotelli tries to get a touch on it, but he can't. Come on, let's keep him under pressure. And he is offside. To, try and get in. to be honest line, though, I think we were going to catch him. You as you can see there, number 8 Gerard stayed on him. And as he brings the ball down, I think Gerard would have got to it before him. Sacco kicks it into Coutinho. Coutinho runs up the left side. Waits for Moreno to make a bit of a run. He plays it into Sturridge. Straight into Balotelli. Balotelli turned. Oh, tried to hit it straight off Balotelli once it turned. And Balotelli's down. Please get off Balotelli, please. Don't be Stephen injured after Island. me just saying about a striker getting injured, please. You've got to get off. Balotelli slowly jogging back to his position. Well, we could get some news on the injury. I think Jeff Shreves is on the case. Oh, and they do get a uh, shot off, but luckily it does go wide. For that I just want to try and get the ball to Balotelli to make sure he's okay. Think, uh, trying to defend him. It might have just took a bubble before he struck it. There you go, he seems to be okay. Storage. A decision given by Anthony Taylor, today's ref. Stalen. Ah. Oh. And it is another free kick. They're just diving in here. See, I don't really want to go from goal from here, but it looks like I might have to. And I think this time I might let Gerard take it. I have been letting Balotelli take them, but I think the captain Steven Gerard's just going to aim on a goal, and we're just going to. Uh, well, we were going to try, but the wall's moving forwards. And as you can see in the bottom right, Sidwell did get a yellow card. So let's see if we can kind of get this on target. Come straight into the wall. Come on, Sturridge. Come on, Gerard. Head it up. That's the one. Into storage. Takes a touch. Tries to run out to the wing. Sees Balotelli in the middle. Can he whip it in for him? Ball tries to go in, but unfortunately it is blocked. They clear it out. Come on, Zuma. Lovely. He starts at Gerard. Plays it into Sterling. Plays up to Balotelli. Tries to put it on the defender for Sturridge, who does. Sturridge puts it in. Damn. That was close to getting crossed in there. Come on, Balotelli. Oh, look at that. Ref blows just as Coutinho half picks it up. It's half time, lads. 2 0. So this is not what you're used to two seeing. Nil the score 2 0. Let's take a look at the We've had some really bad half. games recently, we'll we really have. The for the rest we of played the Chelsea two episodes ago. 1 1 0, thanks to Mignolet being absolutely on fire. And then we played our last game. We won 5 3. I mean, 5 3 is a pretty impressive score right there. It's, it's not easy to score five goals and we scored five and now we've come into this game against Stoke at home yes alright I sweaty the first one the second one was pretty similar as well even though it didn't pass it across goal and we're 2-0 up in the second game now what I'm going to do is 
I'm loving the way the team are playing, but I have got to switch it up a bit. I don't want people getting injured. Definitely do not want people getting injured. So I'm going to take Coutinho off, even though he's playing brilliant. I'm going to give Henderson a go, and I'm going to bring Pogba in for Gerrard. And I'm just going to keep rotating the team, because I don't want people to drop energy and then go and get injured. Especially when we're coming up to December, we've got some pretty tough games coming up. And we obviously want to look at bringing some players in in January. And let's get on with the second half, and hopefully we can have a second half just like the first. Felipe Coutinho is coming off now, and uh, pretty much everyone agrees he deserves that. Yeah, I mean, he's getting a fantastic reception. He's a, a real favourite of the fans, and uh, he's given them plenty to shout about today. Adam Lallana. Well, the interception by Lallana. Ooh, he's he plays out to Pogba and he gets absolutely crippled. Controlling the play here. staying on it though. Ball comes in. Is he offside? And then give it back to the Oof. main man. That was a bit dodgy. Oh, hello. Come on, we need to we need to make sure this ball gets out. Come on. The and they get the shot. Oh, Jesus. The I think that was the youth who gets the shot off. It does go wide, so we are lucky again. Zooming up to Lalana. Turns yeah, put into Sterling. Plays into Balotelli. From the Barclays Premier League. Well, I'll tell you to Pogba, Stoke Pogba City. to Henderson, back to Pogba, it's a lovely home. ball through to Balotelli, yeah, he's just not leading the play though, it. and it comes out to Sterling who hits an absolute low save. strike at the keeper, and, and I don't know how he got his hand to that, I really don't. Stoke well, making some uh, changes there, Henderson, Balotelli, ah come on, Pogba, oh no Pogba loses it, come on Pogba you've got to do better than that. Lovely tackle there by Zuma. Tries to play it through, but Mankeo's got it covered. He plays it back to Mignolet. Mignolet back out to Mankeo. Out to Sterling. In for Balotelli. Balotelli tries to hold the play up to give it back out to Sterling. He's going to have to. He's going to do well to get to it. And he does. Tries to whip one in. Balotelli doesn't get there. Come on. One end. Stay on. Good strike. Oh, went a bit early there. One, one. Come on. Thank you very much, Alan. Playing well here. Let's not let this uh, go. Lovely. Yes, Come on, Balotelli. Mario Balotelli. Into Sterling. Pogba. Pogba. Back out to Sterling. Come on, Sterling. Is that going to be a hat trick? Oh, come on. Lalana. Oh. Tell you what. I'm loving this series now. I don't know about you, but I am loving it. Balotelli, up to Sterling, he puts it out to Lallana. Going to cut it back to his left foot. Whips one in. Looks for Balotelli on the edge of the box. And what a strike! I tell you what, I wish that was on target right there. But what a strike by Mario Balotelli. Well, there's still time to. Still thinking though, Sterling's going to have to get man of the match, if not Coutinho. Coutinho only played the first half, but he was absolutely on fire. They're playing Leicester City in their next match in the Barclays Premier League. I think they could coast home in this one. Come on. Lovely play back to Mignolet. Comes out to Balotelli. Can you get your head on it? He can. Comes through to Sterling. He puts a lovely ball Daniel straight Sturridge. into Sturridge. Balotelli puts one out. Oh, I tried to put one over for Sturridge. They seem to be linking up a lot better, though. Lovely ball into Lallana. Tries to do a little dink, but Sturridge stops his run for some reason. Yeah, but Balotelli and Sturridge, they're just like Towards two you. completely changed people. Excellent oh, well played there by Zuma. The Battled them off the ball. And in it comes quickly with Alana the throw up to Mankeo. Cuts it back, plays it into Sterling. Cuts it back, plays it into the middle for Henderson Anderson. and up to Balotelli. Balotelli's going to run to the defenders, trying to make a bit of space. Puts it out to Moreno on the wing. Moreno runs it in. Only Sterling in the box, but Balotelli's on the edge. What a goal! Please, no! Oh! What is going on? So, Look at that for a goal! Mario Balotelli! Oh, look at him. They're absolutely delighted. Does a scissor kick. Defenders seem to lose the concentration. To put one in the top right corner. From a long way out. Balotelli never does anything in a hurry, but it served his purpose there. What the has just happened? Am I really it's seeing this? It's 3-0. And Balotelli's just scored a scissor kick. Am, am I really seeing this or am I dreaming? Just a quick word from Balotelli's trying to rob goal. him again. They converted from the penalty spot. Oh, Super Mario, you deserve that 100%. Ball comes off to Lallana. 
the liner into Balotelli holding up play lovely tries to pick out Henderson oh Henderson does get his chest on it and it's a free kick to them for some reason I don't know if it was Henderson's run who took the defender out but I couldn't be happier guys I really couldn't the way we're playing it's absolutely unreal Pogba out to Moreno Moreno tries to pick out Balotelli or Sturridge whoever wants to get it come on plays back to keeper just playing it oh that was a bit dodgy by Mignolet right there plays it into Pogba Pogba up to Lallana into Balotelli into Sterling Sterling's waiting for the run of Mankio Mankio makes a lovely run come on Mankio Balotelli stay on the edge of the box again can we pick him out he can't Paul does go out Balotelli does well to pick her up Plays into Pogba. Pogba into Henderson. Hens out to Lallana. Back to Pogba. He's going to take a touch and he's going to hit it. Oh, and it's just a low hit and hope pretty much. Phil Pogba would have got a lot more on it. We are 86 minutes in. Four minutes to go. 3 0 up against Stoke at home. This, this is the Liverpool that I want to see. This is, this is why I'm happy. Because I know Liverpool can play like this. They can play like this in real life as well. Stealing up to Mankio. Plays one to Lalana. Lalana puts out. As Mankio got the legs to get past, it looks like he may have. Good Tries to cut challenge. back, which he does. Puts it in. Looks out for Balotelli. Doesn't get there. Pogba takes a touch. He's going to hit it. Oh, Pogba just puts it wide. And Pogba was so frustrated there. I think, he, I think the way I pushed the ball out, he just took a touch too much. If he'd have hit it one touch before he got to that point, that would have been a goal. We're at 90 minutes now, whistle's going to blow any minute, and I'm over the moon. As you can hear, the fans are singing wild. You'll never walk alone, and that's true. Adam Lallana. into Pogba. Pogba to Sturridge. Sturridge tries to flick one in for Balotelli, who's going to do well to get on the end of it, and there you go. Referee blows, 90 minutes is gone. We win 3-0. Sterling getting a Liverpool. bit of a sweaty across goal. Goal. Then he scores a rebound off Daniel Sturridge's absolute screamer that he passes at the keeper. And then Super Mario goes in out of nowhere. Ball comes in from Moreno. He does a scissor kick and puts it in the top right corner. That is made. I'd say my day, but it's more night. We're now 2 a.m. in the morning. That's why I haven't been screaming as much because of the people in bed in the other rooms and stuff and people asleep. And I just can't believe it. 3-0. And now wondering where does this put us in the table? I just love the way Balotelli and Sturridge linked up, and the way Stur in fact all three of them linked up. Beautiful. Look at this. Moreno in Balotelli. Bang. Goal. Keeper had no chance. It's unfortunate that Begovic didn't get it. But who does get man of the match? It is Raheem Sterling after scoring two goals. And to be honest, when I look at the stats or the match rating, sorry. They're a lot higher than they have been. We've got Salem with a 9.2. Balotelli's getting an 8.4. Sturridge on a 7.8. Lallana on an 8.2. Pogba comes on at half time, gets a 7.1. The defenders are all pretty much top end of 6 point something and 7s. Mignolet's not far off 7s. You've got Coutinho and Gerard only played first half. They're in the 6s. And obviously there's only Henderson that got a 5.4. But he didn't get much of the ball. And I will be bringing Henderson into the team a lot more. As you can see there, the match facts. 12 shots, 7 on target, they had 1 shot and none on target. And to be honest, with us playing on world class, I just think we've had a really big downfall and now we've got our the right formation and, and we've got our form and we know who's scoring goals. I think we're playing a lot better and we're stopping people scoring now. We are keeping the clean sheets and we are scoring goals. Burnley and this one. is exactly what we need. Aston Villa, two. Straight away they have noticed in the three. news. Sterling, the name on fans' lips. United, and I don't blame three, them. They must be Hull screaming City, his name. And as you can see in the table as well, Rangers, we've now moved up to sixth Leicester position. City, we're joint nil. with Stoke. Southampton, one. We are pretty Manchester far City, off fifth two. position. That is my Sunderland, only worry. One. Chelsea, because, two. you know, if you Swansea look at it, we're eight points. We've Paris, got to gain eight two. points to get in the top Tottenham four. Hotspur, two. So Everton, we really one. need for Chelsea, Chelsea Arsenal nil. and Newcastle Arsenal, to start nil. losing and drawing and we need to keep our win up but as you can see on the advance page one. we've got two days so to go we'll to Leicester City to the and that's going to be an episode 18 and if you haven't Manchester enjoyed this United episode this is all I've got for you guys but if you have enjoyed second, the episode make sure you spam that thumbs points. up if you're new watching the video and you've enjoyed it and you want to stick around 
In fourth, Do hit Arsenal that subscribe button. Make sure you leave comments fifth, with ideas United for new defenders, new strikers. I in comment sixth, back to everyone. The table I, I have with at least an hour a day where I go in through seventh, all my comments, all my tweets, and I respond to everyone. I'm not one of these people points. that doesn't bother eighth, with fans or doesn't Everton bother with people with watching videos. Points. I always Bottom respond. Of the table, Burnley with six and that's all I've got for you guys. So as usual, it's been your boy, brothers. Peace out.